It's not often. But every now and again. Every now and again. In fact, this is the second time in a couple of hours this has happened. Leona Argent, get out of my coffin. Well, she's trying. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I bet it's that creeper. She's gone! Fantastic. Let's sleep. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Surviving with Witchery. Here with me, Chillum. Hey! There you go. Look at that. I've done a little screeny there from earlier on. I tweeted that out before the episode and uh, had to get the world seed for someone who was asking for it in the comments. So, today, 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 do, 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 what are we doing? I'm. Mm -hmm, it's just turned at night, so what we're going to do is prepare some stuffs and uh, we'll see if we're going to level up today. We're going to see if we can level up. Uh, and for that, we're going to need to make ourselves some quartz. <laughs> squats? Wow. Quartz spears, amongst other things. Is that my quartz? Yeah. I think we're going to make four of these puppies. Um, and what we're going to need is to charge these with sunlight and then torch ourselves during the evening. Now, I think we're going to need to make five all in all, but uh, all in all, I've only got four. I've only got enough materials to make four charging stands. So, to do this, what we need, let's have a look. So we're going to have sunlight. Do, 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 do. So we're just going to need a bunch of these collectors, and onto these we place the spheres, and we also need an extra daylight sensor as well, which I've all got prepared rather fantastically. Look, five daylight sensors, huh? So if we quickly knock these together, let's have a look. Boom, get four of them. That's fantastic. And four spheres and a daylight sensor. That's awesome. So from what I understand, in order to charge a sphere uh, into a sun grenade properly, <laughs> which sounds awesome, um, we need to have it in the sunlight from the crack of dawn to about midday. Uh, and the reasoning is, is that the... Let's have a look. We've got enough room here. One, two, three, four. I need to find a reasonable spot to put it. Uh, can't take forever over this. Come on, witchy brain, find a spot. Uh, this might do. Um, so yeah, you place this... Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> Basically, yeah, it needs to receive all the redstone signals from 0 to... or from 1 to 15, which is from dawn till noon. Um, so that's kind of cool. So you place one in the middle and the little charges around the edge. That's pretty awesome. And we place the spheres around the outside like so. And come morning, they can charge until the afternoon, at which point they'll be ready to roll, which is fantastic. Cool. Right. Next thing. Uh, I wanted to quickly get on with oh, I made this <laughs> temporary shack. Wow. Hello. How the frinky ding did a creeper get up there? I bet he spawned on top of... Oh, dearie, dearie me. That's bad news. I'm going to have to go take care of that at some point. Anywho. Um, what I've noticed is that our brew of awesomeness has disappeared. So what I want to make quickly now is... Uh, there's like a load of little bits of bobs I want to get done today. So we've got a brew of endless water. That was a dog sneezing in the background. Fantastic. A brew of endless water. So I have all the bits for this, I believe. Um, let's just make sure... I think that's everything. Tea burp! Um, snow blocks are fun, but you can get them from um, the doohickeys. Snow bells. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah, I want it. I'm on it, I'm all over it, all over it, all over it. Good, right, let's do this thing. So, all we need for, oh wow, <laughs> all we need for this is to uh, throw things instead of switching them around. And that, and that, and that, and that. Um, yeah, in a witch's cauldron, that's awesome. Um, the expensive thing is the attuned stones, I mean, it is a diamond for this, but you do get like a hundred uses, so it is uh, it is a time saver. There we go. Plock, got the brew of endless water, you slap that back in your dispenser around the back, and we have a button on top to send a signal to dispense the water. I wish I had 99 charges left. Kablooey, not bad. Right, um, what I've been doing is I've been preparing a, um, hang on, what do I need the flowers for? Do, do, do. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, wow, the actual ingredients. I've been preparing our underground chamber where we're gonna live, our crypt, but I've been doing it using these, oh man, I've got some slowness on me, erosion brews. These guys, now they don't do ton, I've done a stack and a half of these so far. And I'll show you um, I'll show you where we've got to it. But we do need these dandelions, a lot of lot of yellow flowers, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. So what I thought we'd try and do is I've got some glass bowls. So I'm gonna try and make a brew of flowers. Um, which I think what we need to do is that, that, you, um, some of you, and that. I think that's a brew of flowers. Splash brew of flowers, splash three flowers, woohoo! That's awesome. So another few of those, which would be the mandrake root. Uh, oh, hello. There we go. Oh, no. Give me that back. Thank you. No, give me that back. Thank you. Uh, the mandrake root, <laughs> um, followed by, oh, man, the wood ash, the cocoa, make it an instant splash, and then make it flowers, like a so. Yeah, that's the one. Good. And we'll just give that one more time, or a couple more times. 
Um, mandrake, wood ash, cocoa, water artichoke, flour. Awesome. This is good. We're gonna. I keep forgetting to let it boil. It's because I'm in a rush. I don't want to. Oh, see, it's gone midnight already. Oh man. Come on. There we go. So mandrake, that, that, you. Um, splash flowers. Because I want to kind of use this before. Oh no. Before we have to do anything. That's good. And one more time, just for funsies. Now I want to go see how much, how much flowers and what kind do they produce. I think over there will be a good spot. Right. One last time. So the mandrake. The wood ash, make it big splash, make it instant and splashy, and the ingredient of flowers, and we're done. That's awesome, right? Yellow flowers is what we need, because yellow flowers, ironically, even though we use them for that brew, is what the brew of doohickiness uses, um, brew of erosion. So hopefully, it says any kind of valid block, so maybe down there will be quite good. There's not many flowers. <laughs> There's a pointing amount of flowers. Hmm. That's a little bit of a shame. I was looking for a lot more than that. There we go. That's slightly better. That is slightly better. Oh, look. Okay. Look. Get off. And use zombies. Get out of it. Thank you. Oh, I leveled up. 25. Nice. Okay. Not too bad. Let's um, quickly ping. Night shift ourselves. Night shift. Well. Um, oh, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. There's some flowers in here. That's not too bad. I was hoping for more. But it's actually, it does, it's it's a time saver for sure. So let's grab these real quickly. Um, although, yeah, I don't know. Now that, now that Minecraft comes with so many new flowers, which are beautiful and awesome, don't get me wrong. I only really wanted the dandelions. <laughs> I didn't get any. Not many anyhow. Right. That's fantastic. Oh yeah, if you notice, we've got rid of the horsey speed power. I wanted to go test the theory about getting the infernal animus for a fire protection. Um, buff, and so I went and killed a pig man, but uh, yes, MNF is super sneaky, and we figured it would be that way anyhow. One of the guys in my um, or in the comments from the videos last time mentioned it, but we, we theorized that it would be covered already, and sure enough, I get no kind of fire protection being uh, a pig man doohickey. Holy! That, that is just not what this is about at all. I don't think I can ever not wear witch's robes now. <laughs> Guys, damn. Right, so we've got the flowers anyhow, which is awesome. I think dawn is breaking. Yeah, I've got a clock with me at all times now, so that's cool. But luckily, all we need to do is use the kettle now, so we're not too worried about that. Right, so with all those flowers, <laughs> which is awesome, but we just don't need any of them right now. Can I... Uh, I don't know if I've got anywhere. Chuck you and you and you. Yes, you're also lovely, lovely, lovely flowers. Bada boom. So the thing that I wanted to make really was this brew of erosion. So we've got some yellows. We've got a couple of yellows. That's cool. We don't need gunpowder or string or the flesh. Wow. All right. So belladonna, magma cream, and quick limes. Now magma creams are pretty easy to make. We've got three here. We'll make a few more. Um, I know I've got slimes ruined. Yeah, there we go. And some blaze powder. Easy peasy job. A couple of magma creams. Bada bosh, 24, 23, <laughs> far too many, plenty good. Uh, we need the ores of vitriol, and I've been making these for a while, for quite some while, because we need two per potion, so I cooked up a whole load of meat, got some foul fumes, etc, etc. I've got the quick lime, which we need for this as well, don't we? Yes, quick lime for this as well. Whoops, now I don't want to go too far, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and belladonnas, I believe. Yeah, lovely. And so we get a bunch of belladonnas, and we got that. And we have our buckets. Oh yeah, I collected one of the spirit buckets from the um, the nether. So we'll keep that. I need to got three more to collect, if I remember. So not too bad. Right, let's see about doing this, shall we? So you, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Yeah, that's yellow. Bosh, bosh, bosh. That's lovely. So because we've got the witch's robes on, we're getting bonus amounts per use, which is handy because, good gods, these things... They get used really quickly. Like I say, I've done about a stack and a half and two um, two iron picks and a stack and a half so far. And you'll see how much space has been made in a minute. Splish, 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 splish. That's awesome. It's a... Mm, I don't suppose it's, it's not a overly expensive method of uh, clearing out space, really. It's just a little bit time-consuming making all of the potion trees. <laughs> it's thrilling stuff. Oh no, 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 that went horribly wrong. 
Yep, ruined, ruined. Let's fill, refill that with water. Okay, that's not that's not too bad. One, dush, 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 dush. That's better. Do 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 do. Is cool. I mean, doing the clearance is fun. Downstairs using this method for sure. So we've got half a stack, half a stack already, which isn't too bad. It's not too bad. We'll make one more after this, just because we use all the flowers then. And fill the bucket up again one more time. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Brilliant. Pretty sweet stuff. Pretty sweet. So with 42 of these in our hands, I'm just making sure Yeah, we're not going to get burnt. I've been very flippantly just running around without really paying attention sometimes. And uh, I've nearly been torched on more than one occasion so far, which has been fun. So back around here, I've made a small stairway. We have a little ways down now. We've got this pole. And this set of stairs, so this goes down and down and down, quite a, <laughs> quite deep actually in the end. Again, this was made, this whole tunnel all the way down was just made by throwing these brews of erosion down. And it made me a fairly deep tunnel pretty quickly. So down in here, you'd keep walking around, there may be a platform at this point where you can start looking out. And this has all been made from um, using the brews of erosion. So I found a nice little entryway there, and we've also got another, another one here, look at this. It's so cool. So these are really useful for running away, should the vampire hunters come, you never know. Uh, and the plan, what I'm planning on, what I think we should do, what I think we should do is have a little platform here that we can look out on. All of this will go, so we kind of want to chip this away a little bit. Because um, what I want is just to be a drop that you look down from into the rest of the room. So you can see how it's reasonably effective, but it does churn through the old... The old potion's pretty quickly. There we go. It's very, very dark, actually. Hang on. Dink. There we go. Ah, YouTube-friendly night vision. <laughs> Fantastic. So, yeah, it's a very cool way of clearing space out. But like I say, it's a bit pricey. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to come down here. And we'll have a nice set of stairs that comes all the way down into this area. Let's clear out a little bit more. Oops, a bit too much there. So, yeah, you can see it's been fun using the potions to do this for sure. We've got eight left. Yeah, that's getting there. And then it's just a case of coming down and tidying up with um, the pickaxes. So this is, needs to be a lot, lot bigger. I'm not not quite happy with it yet. So we've got a lot of spider type things everywhere. There you go. Look at those cool patterns it makes. Pyong. Uh, in fact, did we just... No, we're all good. Oh, there is something coming through. What do we have? A new hole. It's a new room. We've just tapped into a new room. That's cool. It's a little bit of free clearance. That's awesome. So that's the plan, basically, is what I'm doing down here. Is we're going to keep this going bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, but yeah, not too shabby for the time being. All right, we've done pretty well so far. I'm very happy with this. Um, I'm not going to fly out of here. <laughs> that's crazy. So the life of a vampire underground so far. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, I've not really had any real problems. I did manage to go and uh, we've set ourselves up a nice little village. You know, the main village that we had before, the main one that we keep visiting, the big walled one. Well, I went back there and we've now... I'm hoping it's secure, basically. I've lit the whole place up. It took forever to do this. Flying around with the broom with the old uh, F7 mode on. And I think I've got all possible spawnable areas in there. There is, would you believe, two spider spawners over there as well which is pretty phenomenal, um, underneath the village at two different ends, uh, which is kind of nuts. Right, let me uh, just keep this tidy and clear up nicely. That's good. In fact, we might. I suppose we could pop over to the village and do a little bit of drinky drinky. Let's have a look. So the daylight, it's now uh, sort, of, sort of daytime. Yeah, it's daytime. Hopefully, those guys have charged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it over for a little bit longer, and then uh, we'll come back in the evening. Let's see about burning ourselves a little bit. Cool! Right, I'll see you in a sec. Oh, key. Um, oh, hello. I had a read. I had a read up on uh, the, the next part, and it wasn't five. I thought it was five. Um, let's have a look. Uh, do, 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 do. His greatest foe, the sun, was ever present, tormenting him, or tormenting and instantly deadly to him. It became his obsession. Found a way to collect sunlight and burned himself with it ten times during the night. Ten freaking times. So we've got the original four. I've charged another four up, uh, which we should collect now. And what we're going to do is we're just going to place another two down. 
to get a total of 10, but that's going to happen tomorrow. And <laughs> while I've been waiting for time to pass, as it were, um, mm, mm, grow. Ah, oh, did I just destroy? No. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, because I made a whole bunch of these quartz spheres, we're going to make uh, two new ones. What we're going to do is we're going to make the. Um, this thing, <laughs> this rival infusion, which is infuse a stone to communicate with my coven. Very handy. I haven't got one of them yet. And we're also going to do the infuse a crystal ball to see the future because that gives us access to potentially um, Baba Yaga, Yabba Dabba, Yabba Dabba Duda. I can't remember what's the name. Is it Baba? I think it's just Baba Yaga, isn't it? I think it's just got a hat. Anyhow, let's have a look. Um, Baba Yaga. There you go. So that could be fun. Infused players have a chance to be teleported instead of being hit. <laughs> Interesting. Um, but she comes along if you do lots of future, futury stuff. Now, monkey, move. Oh yeah, that's a point. Oh, next episode, we're going to name you. We are going to name you Bob the Magnificent. Two, the two dungeons that I found in um, in the other village, the spider spawner ones, they have name tags. So we can name Bob the Magnificent next time. So that would be awesome. Right, let's do this first one. Both of these need to be done at night, which is very handy. Uh, and this first one, I can't remember which one's which. That looks like... That's a seer stone. Fantastic. All right. I will do the other one quickly as well. Uh, one costs... Uh, oops. What do you mean is it unknown right? Hodion. Do, 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 do. Quartz sphere, gold ingot. Uh -huh -huh. Is that because... One of these rings is broken? This often happens. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I did. I did break it. There we go. Son of a gun. All right. Let's uh, let's fix that real quick. I know I've got some chalk around here. Ooh, that was close. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's my white white chalk? There we go. Awesome. Quickly fix that ritual circle. We've got time. We've always got time. This is the one thing about being a vampire <laughs> I found. You are oops, constantly panicking about whether or not you have enough time. Because one hit from that sunlight, you're toast, basically, as far as I know. There we go. Ooh, crystal ball. Hell yeah. Hells yeah. Now apparently, uh, if you put it on an altar, it might have some good effects. So, 8072 times 4. If we place our crystal ball there, 8072 times 4. Ah, oh, make no difference. Okay. Looks cool though. <laughs> so if we click on that, ooh, you gaze into the crystal ball. Children will be saved by a stranger. All right. The future cometh. Cool, well there we go, and we've got our um, seer stone to speak to our coven with now, so we, now that we actually have, is it six yet? Do I have six? I'm not sure, I might have five. I think I found the sixth one. Ooh. The sixth one in the village over there, uh, maybe. I'm not sure, I can't remember anymore, never mind. Uh, but yeah, right, we need to get our last two sun grenades. Which means we're going to have to wait through a whole night and a whole day and everything else. So I will see you on the other side. Well, this time tomorrow night. Alrighty. I think we're ready to roll. I think we've finally done it. My God. I've been waiting an age. Oh, blimey. I've been waiting an age. That's a weird cough. Um, right. Let's grab these last two. We've got ten. Pow. So ten, <laughs> ten sun grenades. I'm going to go release these down in our pit. Uh, our crypt, even. Is that a pit? It is a pit for the minute. Uh, but yeah, no, we'll do these. We'll hit these ten times and maybe, just maybe, we'll level up. Now, I was going to run out and show you the insta-death as a vampire. Oh, there's a bat there. That's handy. Um, but I realised that it actually it means you lose all your blood. And I didn't want to lose all my blood. So let's get the old vampy powers on. There we go. Lovely. My God, that's so handy. Uh, and we're all the way down. I've done a little bit more clearance. It was another iron pick's worth of damage down here, so sun grenade. Now apparently this will blind us as well as hurt us, so if I throw one down, oh look at that, that's interesting. I wonder uh, how long it takes to pop. Let's turn the thingy off. Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Oh wow, what happened? Fire resistance. I've got a fire resistance buff and blindness. Is the fire resistance because I've got the pig power? Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. So, all right, we've got the glass sphere left. There we go. So, if I've got fire resistance, uh, ooh, I wonder if that's because of the pig buff. The pig buff. The zombie pig man kill I made. Let's get this bat while we're here. You, give it. There we go. No, no. No, I want you quickly. We need to burn ourselves. Tell I'm just wondering if this buff is going to 
break this, but uh, now let's try it again, okay. Do another one. Wait for this bat to come close. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, you taunt me. You taunt me so, you little bugger. Man, there's ten of these. Ten of these we're going to have to do. Whew. Ow. Now, is this counting? I do wonder. I've got blindness and stuff, so that's pretty bad. <laughs> Ouch. That's not bad. All right, let's do another one. Oh, they stick to the wall? That's kind of crazy. Ow. What? That was weird. I don't know what's going on now. My blood level's gone up, I think. Or is it still on three? I don't know. I think I need... I, hmm. It's gone up a little bit. Ow! Son of a gun. Where's that back on <laughs> while we're here? I do wonder if we can just chuck all of these down in one go, but uh, I don't really want to try it. Come here! Oh, I nearly had him. Nearly had him. Right, let's do these ten and see if we level up at the end of it. Hopefully we will. Batty. Batty. Ugh! Ouch. Okay, hoik, this should be the last one. Let's look for this to pop and hopefully we'll level up. Come on. Wow, oh, we so did. Your thirst grows stronger. Ah, oh, yeah, success. Nice. So, 10. Wow. 10 of those. And my blood pool is up to 7 splotches. That's pretty sweet. Where did that darn bat go? Did he win? Did he, did he win? He escaped. So we're up. This is we're, we're the next level. We're the next level already. My God, that's amaze balls. I'm so chuffed about that. Get up, get up, you city vampire. So mm, sun resistance, which means it's night time now. That's no biggie. But uh, now if we go out into the sun, we won't instantly die at top tier vampirism. If you're like uh, level ten, apparently you get like a hundred seconds in the sun uh, before your entire blood pool's drained, and then if you run out of blood. You're dead, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I suppose you just get torched straight away, as you would imagine. But there we go. Level 6 Vampire. All right. Not bad. Let's have a quick check up on uh, what the next part is. Because I'm not sure what comes next. Is it uh, Villager Transfixing or something else? So, da -da -da -da. after his first walk in the sun, after his rebirth brought him to bloody tears, he felt his blood burning, but no longer instantly. That's pretty damn sweet, you see. He needed more strength, and extinguishing creatures of pure fire was his solution. Twenty died. That's pretty easy. Uh, he could smash solid stone, but bound to earth however fast he was still limited. He called her once more, <gasps> repeating the rite of his rebirth. No way, he gifted her a flower of the colour of the colour that she so craves. Oh, dudes, that's amazing. So we've got to kill twenty blazes, which is pretty easy, because we've got the blaze spawner, so that's kind of sweet. And then we have to call Lilith again? Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, next time. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. It's been a cracking episode. Blimey, we've got loads done today. Loads and loads. Let me turn the old power off just so I can see the sun. I've got make a clock. Word of advice. Make a clock. Carry it around with you all the time. It's so useful. My God, that thing has saved my life on more than one occasion. All righty. Cool. Well, there we go. Um, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves, as I said. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.